Just a real, real quick announcement for you guys in the beginning of this video. Unfortunately, we are not able to make it to the Rudy's Fall event in North Carolina this weekend. Some stuff popped up. We cannot be there. But because of that, we're going to run a sale at Wrenchworks. We don't normally run sales all that often. So everything on the website uh, is going to be discounted this weekend because we can't make it to the event. So make sure you guys go to head over there, grab some stuff. Uh, we restocked some stuff as well. Uh, but it is the number one best way to help support your boys, support the channel. So go over to Wrenchworks.com take advantage of the sale and let's get on with the video all right today is the day today is the day that we are actually going to be using the peterbilt I, I mean we've used it before in the past really with the diamond c with a couple trucks nothing really heavy today we are going to be helping my buddy sawyer who uh, does a lot of farming we're actually going to hook a big trailer a real trailer to this truck and actually put it through its paces i'm uh, i'm pretty excited i'm pretty nervous at the same time uh, we're gonna be hauling a full a full trailer with the truck something that i've actually never done something the truck uh, while we have owned it has never done so uh you know big big test today for the peterbilt so very excited to see how it does we're gonna fire this thing up get it warmed up get it aired up but we are gonna be using the peterbilt to help my buddy sawyer out today do a couple loads for him and uh just see how the truck does You want me to just pull through there right now and see? Yeah, if you don't mind, and I'll, I'll sort of stand in front of you and make sure that uh, All right. everything's good. But they're, uh, they don't have 
Well, we're loaded up. That's the easy part. My stacks don't fit, so we had to back it in. Probably still need to trim some, but I guess we're ready to see if this non-driver can get this thing where it needs to go, I guess. I mean, it looks good at least. So at least you could do is give me a black trailer. I mean, come on, man. It's, gr it's gray though. <laughs> All right, time to do some driving. I'm sure it's probably not the nicest. Going through, going over ruts that you didn't cause. You're cold, man. Man, you can feel something back there. Perfect, my man. Man. Golden. Woo. Which black box? Uh, oh, this one that up one there. up there. Yep. <laughs> now he'll he'll buzz you off of here. Oh, just wait. Yep. Yep. See, so there you go. Man, did that say seventy-eight thousand? Seventy-eight, my man. 78,000. We are big truck to come on. Another nice truck. Check her out. Another Peterbilt. Well, might have a little, little bit of a low tire here. What would you say? Was that five miles? Yeah. We made it. We made it five miles with our first load. 78, 78,000, man, just big trucking now, just big trucking. So I think the next trip will probably go a little bit further, but overall, you know, it's a, it's a learning curve, you know, like I've, I've never driven, I've never driven a big truck that much as of, I mean, since I got that one with that style transmission with this much weight. So man, you can't, you can't get good at something until you're willing to suck and learn how to do it. So, I'll tell you what, sure looks good though, that's for sure. Woo! It's looking good. Heck yeah.
she's a she's a little, little heavy. Oh, she's a little she a little heavy on that one. <laughs> Play, us plays farmer for the day, sir. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. She did great. She's ready to work some more. Alrighty, guys. Two trips for the day, and we are out of here. Man, the Peterbilt did awesome. Super pumped. I mean, I'm not sure it's ready to go to California and back way in 80,000 pounds, but man, she did great today. Super pumped. We are back on the way home. As you can tell, we have made it successfully home through the rain with the Peterbilt. She did absolutely awesome. Super pumped, super stoked. Uh, I was expecting, uh, you never know, something to pop up, an air leak, a leak of some kind. I mean, again, we have not hauled that kind of weight with the truck since we have owned it, but it did uh, It did well. Uh, I'm not going to say that it is a complete and finished truck with uh, nothing else needed. Obviously, the interior still needs to get done, but a good test nonetheless with that amount of weight again I know there's gonna be some heavy haulers in here that uh, 80,000 pounds is not that heavy but personally is the heaviest that I've towed and again really want to hit on the point that I am NOT an excellent driver I have minimal seat time behind this truck behind an 18 speed definitely uh, still need to get used to uh, splitting gears stuff like that but again if you guys aren't willing to suck at something and just this is everything if you're not willing to suck at something you'll never truly be good i am openly admitting that i am not the greatest we're getting better every time we go out and that is the point so looking forward to some more uh i would say jobs don't mind the dirt over here we, we did we did manage to go through a little little mud here but Looking forward to more uh, using the, of the truck, hauling a little bit more weight. Honestly, the biggest thing, uh, it really makes me want to go out and get a all aluminum step deck. I'm not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Definitely makes me want to go get a full size trailer because this thing just looks absolutely incredible. Um, one thing that I will admit as well uh, that we did not actually mess with or play with, uh, the fifth wheel plate is actually all the way forward. We were noticing that uh, a lot of weight seemed to be on this drive axle. I think we could have gotten away with moving the plate back a little bit, kind of more in the middle. Uh, but again, totally new to this, you guys, uh, and we're learning. And that's what it's all about. So anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video of the Peterbilt hauling some weight again. We'll come up with more things to do. Uh, I know Sawyer always needs help, so we'll go play farmer. And yes, we will work on getting a new bumper that lifts up because he did mention, uh, obviously the stacks are one thing underneath that one grain bin. I had to back up the trailer, but obviously with farming, you are off-road quite a bit more than you are on-road, especially in the field. So we're going to do field work with it. Anyway, guys, hit the like button before you leave. Subscribe if you have not already. I'll see you. Damn, baby.